Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. It's a beautiful morning here, and I'm feeling pretty good about being off property today. In fact, for the first time, I drove out of my property, went down this concession road, and started working on my neighbor's property with the tractor and some of my implements, and I'm fully insured when I've left my property. You may recall about three months ago, I issued out a video number 156 that talked about the need for insurance for your tractor. I'll put a link to that video up above me. It was triggered by a comment I got from one of our longtime subscribers, which made me think a little bit more about the coverage I thought I had under my homeowner's policy. Sure enough, it turned out I wasn't covered once I left my property. So since I released that video, I've done a lot of diligence, a lot of phone calls, a couple of meetings with a number of different insurance brokers and companies here in Ontario, trying to find somebody that actually provides coverage for someone like myself, someone who's got property, you've got a tractor, but you don't farm your land. A lot of companies will provide you farm insurance, but if you're not a farmer, you can't qualify. The subscriber gave me a name of an insurance broker here in Ontario that in fact covers a number of different provinces in the Maritimes as well, and provides coverage called Tractor Protect. I quickly realized from the response I got to that first video that I'm not the only one that's got a concern about ensuring that I manage the risk when I'm off property in the event that a collision or an accident or something bad happens when I'm using the tractor. That's why I thought it was important that we finish up the work jump in the pickup and we're going to take a trip out to Dula Band Insurance today and we're going to hear right from them what they have to offer and why. So if you've got a few minutes, grab a coffee and stick around. It should be interesting. Cheers. Let's head on in, and we're going to meet up with Jason Dillaban. Hi, Gord. Hey, good morning. Hi, Jason Dillaban. Pleased to meet you, Jason. Welcome to Dillaban Insurance. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me in today. Gord, how about we go to the boardroom and talk about tractor insurance? I think that's a great idea. And how about let me get you a coffee as well? Coffee sounds like you're talking my language. Let's do it. Great. Thanks. But Jason and Julia, thank you so much for having me in. As you know, I did a lot of research over the last few months after one of my subscribers had mentioned to me that you folks are pretty much the only ones that offer insurance for someone like me, someone with a small compact or even a utility-sized tractor, but I don't farm my land. So perhaps you guys can tell me a little bit about yourselves and about the Tractor Protect program. So my name is Jason Dulaban and this is Julia Howe. Together we're here from Dulaban Insurance a third generation insurance broker specializing in home, automobile, commercial and farm insurance. We're very excited to be able to develop Canada's first standalone tractor insurance program, uh, specializing in insuring compact tractors right across Canada. So how did you end up developing this program? What is it that triggered you to recognize the need for this program? So as an insurance broker, we represent the top 22 different insurance companies across Canada. And as a dedicated hometown broker, we specialize in insuring rural homes. And a lot of those homeowners um, have turned to purchasing compact tractors over the years. And as we reviewed the wordings, the coverages, and the terms from every insurance company, we got very concerned about the gaps in coverages that those insurance companies would provide. Right. Uh, specifically, a homeowner's policy is not designed to insure any compact tractor or garden equipment over 24 horsepower in size. And not only does, do they not provide the accurate liability coverage for that tractor, but they only provide limited coverage on the tractor itself. So typically a homeowner's insurance policy only provides coverage for $6,000 garden equipment and liability extended to any tractor less than 24 horsepower in size. If a tractor owner would schedule the tractor on a home, and home insurance policy, that even provides reduced coverages as well because it provides actual cash value coverage which allows the insurance company to depreciate the value of the tractor based on its current condition 
and only provides liability coverage on premise. Got it. And that's really consistent with what I learned from one of my subscribers several months ago, which of course led us together today, is I actually went back to my insurance company and I found out that I was not covered outside of my property. And that was a bit of a concern because I think most folks like myself, when you have a tractor, not only are you working on your own property, but you're often constantly off your property helping neighbors or you're driving down the concession roads. And it was a little bit concerning to me to find out that I wasn't covered anymore. Right. One of the things that uh, I wanted to ask you about is, I know that some of the tractor manufacturers have their own insurance, uh, KTAC or UltraGuard, I think it is probably one of them. And after I'd issued out part one of this insurance series, I had a large number of my subscribers who came back to me saying, thanks for the information, it was really helpful. Thank goodness I'm covered because I have KTAC insurance or I have UltraGuard. Do, is that a similar insurance to your Tractor Protect? It's not a similar insurance coverage. And in fact, we get proposed that question uh, a lot of times by prospective clients that call us as well. Okay. Those manufacturing programs only provide coverage on the tractor themselves and provides what's called actual cash value coverage based on the loan amount that they secure on the tractor. So what that means is if the, the tractor's valued at $30,000 and a tractor owner put a $10,000 down payment on that tractor and a right. day thereafter has that tractor stolen, the obligation of that manufacturing program generally is only to pay $20,000. Okay. The other major difference between our Tractor Protect Insurance program compared to that of the manufacturer's program um, is the liability coverage. That the, oh, right. the liability coverage is only based on premise only, where our Tractor Protect policy provides coverage both on and off premise. Excellent. And that's a big one. I mean, to me, if uh, heaven forbid I end up in a big accident or I'm off premise and something bad happens, I think probably the least of my worries is the few thousand dollars of damage to the tractor. It's going to be if somebody's injured and what that might look like after the fact. Right. That's excellent. Right. And that's $2 million of liability insurance, correct? $2 million of personal liability coverage extended to you as the owner of the tractor and the tractor itself, both on and off the premise. Okay. And for clarity, that insurance is to cover third parties, uh, not myself personally, if I were to get injured. Correct. Third party liability to provide coverage and a defense based on an accident that you're negligible on. Gotcha. Because I would be covered or I would find coverage for myself when it came to my own personal uh, injury under my life insurance or other insurance policy coverages. Correct. That's accurate. One of the things that led us to be able to create this program and d determine there's a need for this program is we had a client that owned a compact tractor and was using that compact tractor to plow their snow in their own driveway. In February, during a blizzard, as most tractor owners do, they were pushing the snow onto the road, past the road to the ditch, and during that time collided with a car. This was a wow. serious accident, yeah. and there were serious injuries, and there was no liability coverage provided to this tractor owner because officially they were off-premise. Wow. Yeah. And it was with that accident, with that claim, that has led us to be able to design and develop Canada's first standalone tractor insurance policy. That sounds just like one of the scenarios I put into my last video in this two-part series. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your Tractor Protect insurance program? Yeah, so we designed Tractor Protect to be an online quoting and binding system where people like yourself can go online and actually bind their own coverage in about five minutes. So we've designed it to be kind of the broadest form of coverage that's out in the industry at the most affordable price. So there are a lot of benefits to our program. So if you purchase our Platinum package online, our program includes $2 million of liability coverage on and off premises, which is different than what you would get on a homeowner's policy. Uh, so you would be covered in that situation where you're off the road, plowing snow, or have to go in between properties in Ontario. It includes a $250 deductible for all risk physical damage coverage on the tractor. It also provides coverage, replacement cost coverage, for up to five years from the purchase of the tractor when it's brand new. So even if you had a tractor that was two or three years old, if you sign up for our program, uh, you would still get replacement cost value for that tractor for the first five years that you've owned it. Um, with this program, we also include a $10,000 blanket for any accessories or extensions that you purchase for the tractor moving forward. Wow, so that's great. So in addition to the base coverage, 
Uh, you've got $10,000 in addition to that to cover implements or attachments for the tractor. Plus, I love the fact that it's $2 million in liability because my own homeowner's insurance would only go to a million. And of course, it had many exclusions and conditions on that tractor. So that's a pretty impressive package. One thing that is of importance to a lot of tractor owners like myself, the summer is a very finite period of time. There's not a lot of time to get your work done. If I did unfortunately end up in an accident where the tractor was damaged uh, and I've got it back at the dealership getting fixed, I'm going to be out for possibly weeks or possibly months before without a tractor. So we wanted to make this coverage the most comprehensive that was out there. So we've actually included coverage for loss of use in that type of situation. Up to $2,500 you would get coverage for a rental tractor in the event of a claim where you can't have it on your property and can't use it. So we do have coverage in place for that as well. Wow, that's great. That is full coverage because that's one of the most important things to me. If that tractor's gone for the summer, my summer's gone because I got a lot of work to get done. And you folks currently are offering services in Canada or in several provinces in Canada, correct? So we have been focusing the majority of this conversation on Ontario, but we do offer Tractor Protect insurance coverage in the eastern provinces as well. So we are li licensed in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and PEI. And in these provinces, the coverage has been amended a little bit based on the legislations and the laws that exist for insurance coverage. So the on and off premise liability that we have in Ontario in the eastern provinces is only on-premise liability. According to the legislation, when a tractor in the eastern provinces is plated and licensed for the road, it does not qualify for this kind of coverage and would need to be on an auto insurance policy instead. So we still offer the $2 million of liability coverage on-premise. Uh, we also offer the full physical damage coverage, replacement costs, the loss of use. It's simply the off-premise liability coverage um, that would not be included in our program for those provinces only. Okay, so what you're saying is the program is whole as it can be depending on whatever laws or regulations as it pertains to insurance in each of those provinces. And do you have any plans to grow across the rest of Canada? Because we have a lot of subscribers out in the western provinces and I'm pretty sure a lot of them might be interested. We do have plans to expand the program all across Canada into the Western provinces as well. That's, that's great to know. So basically what you did is you filled a gap that was missing between those guys that have commercial uses, uh, people that use their tractors or their equipment for farm, and seeing that gap in that insurance uh, for guys like myself, you guys have that covered now. Okay, well thanks so much Jason and Julia. I really appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to come out today to meet with you guys face to face. As you know, uh, I'm finding the product of value. I've signed up, and I think it provides a lot of detail and information behind the program. We have a lot of new tractor owners on my channel, and I think hopefully this will be of value to them all. So thank you once again. Thank you, Gord. It was a pleasure to get to know you, and we really do appreciate being on your channel. If any subscribers have any further questions or we can be of any further assistance to you in any capacity, feel free to reach out. So we're all different individuals, which means we all have different individual levels of risks that we're willing to take. In my case, I don't like to take a lot of risk. I prefer to be fully covered on and off the property. Today I wanted to make sure I got out and spoke to an expert on the subject as opposed to trying to interpret things for you. And I hope it was of value, especially if you're a new tractor owner. And as is always the case here on the channel, I don't get paid, there's no compensation, financial or otherwise, when I bring product reviews or product information to you. I just want to bring the most factual and accurate information to you for things that I think are of value. So thanks for sticking around with me today. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting more videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families, and I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.